Hello ladles and jelly spoons, uh, this is Agus and let's see what we've done since last time and it's been a lot, it's been a lot of things going on because I've been watching commentaries or listening to commentaries while playing Minecraft so there's a lot of changes first of all here's the map a lot's been explored but I haven't explored in that direction too much um, so yeah let's take you on the main part of the journey Obviously the house still looks as it always has, pretty much. The lighthouses. I haven't shown you the third lighthouse yet, but that's off on another part of the world that I haven't been to recently. And so obviously we have our main line down there. Oh, what's this? <laughs> oh shit. Fuck's sake. We'll do that the first time I try and show you guys it. Uh, this never happened before. And it has to happen the one time that I'm recording. Nice. That's why I put those two bits of regular track there so I can stand on the block, place one there, push it, and then get in it straight away. That's how it's meant to work. And let's look at our map as we go along. So that brown square right there that's the uh, exile legit's house and as you can see the island along the left from this cross that's got a bit of brown in it as well the brown bits the wooden bits where I've built up myself and so that's where we're going now it's a long railway line very long obviously I haven't used any cheats and it took ages to dig out I had to replace some of the ceiling because water kept flooding in and I met some cave systems and it was a lot of fun but it took a long, long time. Like, as you can imagine, we're going really fast. But still, <laughs> we're not making much progress, to be honest. There's a cave system that way, and I was going to take it that way originally, but then I realised I had to turn to get to the island. Because I saw the island first, and then I decided I needed to make a railway there. And then after that, I built a house around it. <laughs> so, we are here. We are here. And this is Exile Legit's house number two. I should probably make a name for it, but... Oh, and I brought along a chest so that I could put some minecarts in it in case I needed them. Awesome sauce. Let's consult our map. Here we are. And so, yeah, this is Exile Legit's house number two. This is the room I started off with. It was this small and I had to put a bed there. I expanded it a bit. The new trapdoors making themselves useful. Uh, another wall chest. Loads more stuff that I found while here. A lot's been going on, basically. I've built all sorts of walkways, and as always with my houses, they look different each time I build them, which is why I love to move away from the houses I build and just build another one. But the good thing about this is that it's in the same world and it's interlinked, and you can go between them if you want. And as you can see, an extensive system of stairs and everything. It's, I don't know, it's the houses are kind of always similar for me because I always build them in the same manner with a wooden block, a glass block, a wooden block, and it just looks kind of, I don't know, it looks good, but it's the same all the time, which is kind of annoying. But there you are. So this is the basement, as it were. I like having six furnaces all the time. I think I expanded it out and didn't replace the torch. Silly meat. And let's go into the proper basement where I've dug a mine shaft. And this interlinks with the hallway of my house. And there's the way down to the um, minecart place. I always tend to have loads of <coughs> random stuff uh, that I've dug from the mine shaft in the, in the chests above it. And as you can see, I burst into a couple of veins straight away. I didn't hit much ore on the way down. I hit a bit of um, iron and a bit of coal, but I didn't didn't really find much else, to be honest. And here's... that's bedrock, and so I decided to look for diamond above bedrock. It's about 10 to 16 above the smallest... I mean, the lowest level of bed bedrock where you're going to find your diamond so I just kind of dug this system and I, I turned wall hack on and looked for a pocket of zombies and just followed the pocket of zombies basically uh, 
which should leave you lead you to caves, which is awesome because then you find your diamond in the caves. <clears throat> That's my way of doing it anyway, and it worked as I'm about to show you. If I can find the way, I'm not sure if this is the right way. Oh, some iron I've ignored. <clears throat> Iron's always welcome. I used a lot of it. I had three or four stacks, and I used it all building the railway. And it's a railway, not a not a roller coaster, because I wanted to make it useful instead of just being for pleasure. But I'll probably build a pleasurable one later. That's what she said. And here's our diamond. I've got four back in Exile Legit's house number one, and this is a vein of two. That's not very many at all. But I haven't explored further because as soon as I saw that, I thought, right, I'm going to make this video just to update you guys because it's been a large update to be honest. Might be some more somewhere around here. You never know. But anyway, I'll explore down here some other time. So, I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, tell me if you'd like to see some more XO Legits. I love posting it, so... Thanks for watching. This has been Aegis and Pea Soup, I guess. Pea Soup. Welcome back, ladles and jelly spoons. I got killed by... Um, a skeleton just as I spotted more diamond and I found a little chunk up in here. I before after just after I finished the commentary I found one block of diamond somewhere else. Just one. I'm getting quite proficient at finding it now. It's the millionth piece that I found in Exolegit's world. And it's three bits evidently, which is pretty awesome. And thankfully I managed to find my way back, and now I've got six since coming to um, this new part of Exile Legit's world, which is pretty awesome. But for now I think it's best to get topside and store it so that I can make a pick and a shovel and stuff. Um, so thank you guys for watching. This is Benegas, and um, I don't think of any other vegetable to say, so I'll say apple. Uh, Goodbye.